The art of H.R. Giger inspired much of the most terrifying aspects of the original Alien film released over 40 years ago now. Namely, the iconic monster, the Xenomorph, that has plagued many a nightmare of terrifying filmgoers over the years to come. The mind of the brilliant artist tapped into those fears, translated them for us, and while inspiring the beloved film, he has also inspired countless artists to tap into those same fears and dark recesses of the mind that many dare not explore. In honor of the 40-year legacy of Alien, Titan Books has enlisted the talent of 40 different artists to contribute to a collection of work in the new book, Alien 40 Years, 40 Artists. Some of these artists have been directly involved with works related to Alien over the years. Some are visiting the world of Alien for the first time, but they all have one thing in common, an appreciation for Ridley Scott's classic film and the world it has created. I was able to get an early look at the book, and today I wanted to share a review with you and talk about some of the art featured within. My copy got a little beat up in the mail, but it's mostly in good condition. Mostly. First things first, the book is on the larger side. It's definitely something that falls into the coffee table book category. For comparison, it's the same size as Titan Books' previous release, Alien The Blueprints, so if you're like me and you like to keep it on the shelf, it's appreciated that it has some size consistency. It's a good size to really take in the art and admire the details. Anything smaller and you may feel like you'd be missing something. Within the book, it's exactly what you'd expect. There's 40 pieces of art from 40 different artists here. There's an introduction from concept artist Chris Foss, whose work was also instrumental in bringing the original 1979 film to life. He reflects on his own experiences on the film and his original concepts are included. Each art showcase displays the piece on a full page with supplemental information to accompany it. We get information on the original format of art, the original dimensions, and in many cases preliminary drafts of the work, early renditions, alternate takes, and in some cases there are behind the scenes photos of what went into creating the piece. Also included in the supplements for the art is a write-up from each artist. This may actually be my favorite aspect to the book. Much of it amounts to personal reflections on Alien. They talk about what the film and the series means to them, how it inspired them, and how important this 40-year legacy really is. Whether the artists have been involved officially in Alien-related media or not, it's clear that first and foremost that they're fans. This is a collection of fan art from people who love the movie and they share their affection for it. As someone who's devoted this entire channel to talking about Alien, I love talking about it myself. I love hearing from other fans in the comments of my videos. I love the love for Alien. So having these reflections and anecdotes from the artists themselves included along with the art, I think was the perfect touch. Among the 40 pieces of art, there's a good amount of variety. A lot of it is digital art, but you'll also see pen and ink on paperwork, such as Eye of Providence by Carrie Ann Hudson and Brett's Demise by David Lupton. There's fan posters, such as the wonderful work from Tim Clinard, who previously took Alien fans by storm with his custom posters for the series. Here from Clinard, we get a brand new poster rendition for the first film, which is as excellent and detailed as his previous works. There's faux recruitment posters, such as with Russell Walk's piece, Get Paid to Sleep. There's art very much more on the abstract side, as seen in Marta Alvum's piece, Xenobed, or in the concept by Denis Villeneuve, Nosos, 1700 BC, and there's even a meta, multi-panel comic strip from Jordan Vote Roberts and John Wilcox, which is very charming. There's art on the darker, more morbid, nightmarish, Giger-like side, Dane Hallett's excellent piece, In Utero, graces the book's cover. Also included is Adam, a riff on Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam. Hallett, of course, was Alien Covenant's concept artist, and this perfectly continues the themes we've seen in his concepts and in the final film. There's Juvenile Xenomorph, front and back, by Matt Hatton, providing a very intense, Giger-esque feel. R.J. Palmer provides a pretty terrifying snapshot of the Xenomorph in action with his piece, Big Chap Finds a Friend, based on the Xenomorph of the original film. Tristan T-Rex Jones, whose art has become synonymous with the modern era of Aliens comics, also explores the original Xenomorph, providing a glimpse into what was not seen on screen with his gruesome piece, Lambert's Scream. The collection isn't entirely doom and gloom, though. There's plenty on the more lighthearted side, which is also appreciated. 
Catherine Keeney has an adorable rendition of Ripley and Jones flying through space, away from the danger of the alien, in her poster art. There's a really cool version of Ripley in her white EVA suit from the end of the film, reimagined as a giant mech suit from the artist Edward Punn. Also included is Jonesy in his own little mech pet carrier, which is very amusing. Jonesy actually gets a lot of play into the artwork featured here. Rory Lucy, who created the terrific book Jonesy, Nine Lives on the Nostromo, returns to everyone's favorite sci-fi feline again with his piece, Good Boy. And Joey Spioto, author of The Alien Next Door, also returns to his art style in a special 40th birthday celebration piece. And I guess that's what this all amounts to. It's a celebration. It's 40 love letters written by alien admirers from all over the world, each with their own unique artistic talents that they bring to the project. I love the alien reference books and the behind the scenes material that we've had released and continue to see, but I really appreciate something a little different like this. I think it was a great way to honor the continuing legacy of the film, 40 years on and going strong, and it's something that fans will enjoy. Titan Books has done some incredible work with a good amount of variety in their releases. Coming very soon, we have J.W. Rinsler's The Making of Aliens, which I've been eagerly anticipating. But then, soon after that, we're going to be getting, of all things, an alien cookbook, which I think is such a fun idea and something pretty different. Something I wouldn't have expected, but pretty curious to see how that turns out. As a fan, I'm really glad that we're able to get releases like this, and so consistently, too. If you happen to be watching this video on the date of upload, August 11th, Alien 40 Years 40 Artists is actually out today, so definitely check it out. I really enjoyed it, I was really charmed by it, and I think it's worthy of any Alien fan's shelf or coffee table. Thanks for watching today, guys. As always, I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like, and you can also subscribe for all the latest videos from the channel. My very, very special thanks goes out to William Jutani Executives Emurik, Mark Fox, and in the Ellen Ripley tier of excellence, Lady Anne. My thanks also goes out to the Hive Queens, Ronnie Jensen, Alice Sane, and Jackson Roche, all part of the Patreon Hive. If you'd like to join the Hive and support the channel, check out my Patreon page for exclusive posts and contests. In the meantime, you can catch up with Alien Theory over social media. Follow at Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and at Alien Theory YT on Facebook and Instagram for more. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.